Hey everybody, I'm Tim Brzezinski. In this screencast, I'm gonna show you how you can use any type of mobile device, whether it be like an iPhone, iPad, or an Android, in this case, a Google Chromebook tablet. You can open up any public 3D GeoGebra resource you find online, open it quickly in your phone or on your tablet, and explore it in augmented reality within a matter of two minutes or less. All right, it's that easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to quickly share my screen and we'll uh, rock and roll. All right, this'll be quick. So let's share, fractal, here we go. So now, on the right, I have my Acer Google Chromebook tablet, all right, and on my left, I have an iPad, all right? So now, we're gonna actually look at it quickly in both, just to see how easy it is for students to uh, take a look, use their phones and their tablets to explore, okay? So now, um, again, the 3D graphing calculator is a prerequisite, has to be installed. Here, you see it here on the iPad. You see it here on the Android, okay? The other uh, prerequisite for the Android, at least, is that you need to install an app call called AR Core by Google. Again, AR Core by Google. That's what activates the augmented reality component in this app on any non-iOS device. In this case, the Acer Google Chromebook tablet, okay, or Android or whatever. Okay, so now let's actually uh, go online here because we may be uh, going around. And by the way, in this YouTube video, look below in the description here, you will see uh, links to tons of resources that you can readily use within your math classroom to have kids working and exploring in 3D. I have a book for iOS that I'm actually in right now, and I have a book for Android or Google, but honestly, they're essentially the same book, the same devices. So these resources really are device agnostic here. Okay, but Regardless, I have uh, separate them because it's like a 5% difference, regardless. Let's take a look at this one here, surface area, all right? Many students have a hard time conceptually working with surface area, okay? I mean, many of us have used tissue boxes or have made uh, cardboard cutout models with, you know, cardstock. And by the way, that should never go away. We should be doing that still. Kids should be building virtually, right? But they can also explore. Uh, kids should be building, I'm sorry, with real life and paper. That sh should never go away. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but they should, but the, we live in the 21st century. We could have a virtual means to explore as well. So I want to open this resource here. I want to look at this resource in augmented reality on my phone. How do I do that? Okay, I'm going to show you how. I find the fastest way is to take that URL right there. Look at the code. Look at the string of digits right after this material slash. In this case, those are the digits which I've uh, put right here. Okay, that was found in the URL right here. See FMBMKPJ7? You see it right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that and I'm going to open it. I'll start on my iPad and I'll finish it on my Android or Acer Google Chrome tablet afterwards. So we'll go to the 3D graphing calculator, go to the menu up there, go to search. Okay. And where it says search, I could type in the word surface area, like the title of it, but there might be a bunch of them that show up. I might not see it right away, but the quickest way I found to get there, type in the string of the URL right there. It's so quick. So F, it is case sensitive. F M B. All right, MKPJ7 for this case right here. And by the way, if you're watching this, you can do the same thing and you'll, you'll get it. Okay, FMBMKPJ7, there it is. It's the only one that shows up in the menu. Pretty cool, right? And so I open it, there it is. What I just saw online right here, I opened up on my phone or tablet right over here. Now, there's an AR button, all right, powered by Apple's augmented reality kit that comes on any uh, iOS device that you literally, any phone or tab, iPhone or iPad you purchase, pretty much. So now, uh, today, so right here, there in that resource, there's directions as to how to use it in AR, all right, but what tells you what each slider does. But right here, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, hit AR, all right, and now we can actually uh, find the flat surface. I'm aiming it at the carpet in my office here. Tap on that square and look at that, baby, it's right there in front of you, boom. All right, you want to go inside? You you go jump inside. You can go. You can go anywhere. This thing is awesome. You can explore it now. Kit, this brings uh, to the table what has never been able to have been done in math ed before. Well, what do you mean, Tim? Well, how about this? Let's actually have kids. In this case, I see how I can mess with my sliders. I can change dimensions in my augmented reality right here. But why not have a kid? Why not have your students build a six by four by eight rectangular prism out of cardstock? They fold it up in the net, make the make the prism right. Then they could actually virtually test it to see how accurate this is. This is built to scale, all right, on, on the iPad here. So let them test it in, um, you know, right there. If I had it, I'd put it under here and, and I'd do it. I can, again, now uh, I also love the power of this because you can actually scroll down a bit for this one resource that is, and under options, slide it over, 
you see second, you know, this slider will actually separate, whoops, each of them. So kids can see the each, uh, kids can actually come to discover for themselves that a rectangle is made up of three pairs of congruent rectangles, right? In this case, so what's the area of this? Well, gosh, can you count the squares? I mean, that the area of a rectangle is a very, uh, you know, elementary topic here, which is going to get extended into 3D as well. Uh, two. So instead of giving the kids this formula, 2LW plus 2L whatever, you know what? Never taught my students a formula. Instead, I, I did this out of cardstock for many, many years, you know, with, and I had them fold like, you know, centimeter grid paper just like this, and they would count the squares, and they would come to that conceptual realization, oh, right, you count the squares on the figure, and now they generalize as to how to find the total amount of squares. I shouldn't have to, we as teachers should not be spoon feeding them formulas plug in and chug and that's algorithmic procedural knowledge only. Let them develop the and discover and get the conceptual understanding for themselves. And with tools like this, that could become so much more of a reality for students. Um, again, I, I'm, not, I'm not throwing out the paper uh, scissors idea. That should always be a part, of, um, a part of the active engaging process as well. But the virtual uh, can complement that very, very beautifully and very, very well. And by the way, we can even open and close this within our space. Let's just go find that open close. Look at that. Boom. There we go. Right? We could fit the net and see, and we could look at that, go down the slide, and do practically anything in here, right on your phone. All right? And uh, also, just to uh, let me go out of 3D for a second, and let's actually take a look at the same one on the Acer Google Chromebook tablet, augmented reality powered by AR Core by Google. All right? Right over here. Now, let me go to open, all right? Now, I could type in the code, but if I type in the word surface area, that's another way you could possibly find it here. Look at that. And there it is. There's a bunch of them, but I mean, my, right there, I think I'm logged in as me, so my stuff comes up first, but again, I don't know. But there it is, okay? And so we're looking at it side by side. Let's go find the, uh, we can mess around with this here. Uh, the same slider still exists there length, width, and height. We can mess around with this all we want. Let's look, let's see what it looks like on an Android. I aim it to the floor. Now, uh, there we, that's what AR Core by Google does on Androids. Anytime augmented reality, it actually sets a, it puts a square there, but also like a centimeter grid. Like it's like isometric graph paper. It's messing with it, it's kind of crazy. Tap it and check that out. Now I could take that re same rectangular prism I just had on the iPad, I could, I could do this on my Acer Google Chromebook tablet, all right? And again, go inside, do whatever, open, close, right? It's pretty cool. So again, coming to, um, my goal here is to be device agnostic, all right? Again, to show you that it's compatible with both types of devices, GeoGebra 3D with augmented reality. Let's open this up and see what it looks like on an Android, say, all right? Here we go. Open, close, woo, boom. Oh, watch out for the desk there. Here we go, all right? So there it is, all right? And the sky's the limit to what you could have kids discover and explore here. So check out those resources, please, uh, if you get a chance, uh, right in the YouTube description. Um, right in the, where'd you guys go? There you are, sorry. Right in the video description right there, there are link, there are hyperlinks to URLs to tons of GeoGebra resources that you can have your kids use in exploring, building with an augmented reality, okay? On their iPhones, on their Androids. So. We live in the 21st century. We cannot act like this technology doesn't exist. So uh, let's use this to have kids build and model. But that's just a quick how-to to find see, find something you like, you want to explore it virtually. That's how you can do it. So I'm Tim Brzezinski. Thanks for watching. If you love what you see here, feel free to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more how-tos in modeling and 3D and GeoGebra augmented reality um, every day pretty much next week except Friday. So hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Friday.